obvious you don't want a job. No. Just holding out for one that has a cash register with a lock that's very, very easy to jimmy. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, that's okay. I probably deserved it. <laughs> Roy. Steven? Hey, man. Long time no see. Huh? When my dad left, my mom signed me up for the Big Brother program, and I got Roy. And we had some good times before you left town. Yeah, I moved in with a wonderful woman. Oh, what happened? She found out I was living there. <laughs> Roy has some problems with people. They don't like me. Yeah. You don't like me, right? Not really. <laughs> but to be fair, I have very high standards. Yeah? She's really nice, Steven. Hey, uh, so what are you doing here? I work here. Hotel kitchen manager. I was gonna put out word that we're looking for a cook, but then I figured, why bother? They'll just leave me like everybody else. So, Roy, seem a little depressed there. Yeah, I'm teetering on the brink. Maybe I can do something to cheer you up. Really? Oh, that'd be great. So I'm on the Golden Gate Bridge, and everyone's telling me to jump. Who's just out for a jog? Okay, Roy, here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna take that job as cook and keep you company on two conditions. I'm not gonna work very hard, and you're gonna have to pay me a lot. But man, it'll be a bargain, considering the money you save on hookers and shrinks. And if it's work-related, I can call you at home. <laughs> now I have a reason to get a phone. Steven, you're a chef. <gasps> if you can learn to make those fancy deviled egg thingies, I will lose my freaking mind. <laughs>